Hi everybody, it's me, Rob, with Reviews by Rob, and today I have got a special review. It is called The Ballpoint. It is from the good people at Code & Quill. Here's their uh, information there from uh, the internet media stuff, from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to the World Wide Web. And your everyday carry tool, writing tool, and it is actually a very nice EDC tool. Um, I've already unboxed it. I've already tried this video a few times, but uh, I'll go for number three. So, it is packed in this nice um, foam, and when you first get it, it's quite the thing to get out. So, it's a good thing it comes with these little pincher things here on the on the box here. To take that out, it's a lot easier than trying to shake it out. It'll come out now, but it was a little tight to begin with. So, it's good packed, well packed. Uh, here's the pen itself. It's got the Code & Quill logo, little and sign. And it is actually a um, beautiful, nice, all-metal pen. We're very well made. I think the design of it was very smart. It's got the little cutout on each side. You see that? I don't know if you can see that reflecting in there. Yeah, there you can. Uh, reflects, well, reflects. It, uh, it allows for your hand to hold the pen really decently. Um, the pen does come apart. Let me see if I can put some, this on something so you can kind of see it a little bit better. I'll take this pad of paper since I haven't used it. I'll use it once, I think. So anyway, so here's the pen, and to take it apart, you just open this up like this, just turn it counterclockwise basically, until it comes off, and then this comes out like that. Of course, there's a spring, watch, take care of that so you don't lose that. It's a standard spring and standard, standard Parker pen refill. So it's refillable, people. This is a refillable pen, which will eventually, eventually give you back your money's worth, because the, the metal is solid, so unless you're really handling it really hard um this uh this should last you a long while this pen so a great edc pen you just tighten it back on like that it opens back up and you just turn it once like that and it's back in so let's see what the ink looks like um it is uh it is a ballpoint it looks to be like some gel ink um, park makes a really good gel ink too so this this is not branded Parker, the refill on this, or the, fill, the uh, yeah. It's not branded Parker, but I'm saying Parker refill because I think it'll work. It's called the Ballpoint. By the good people at Code and Quill. And if you don't know who Code and Quill is, are if you don't know that company they make uh, notebooks and they make um, uh, anywhere from size a6 all up to to size b6 i think b5 um, so they make beautiful notebooks uh, you just need to go check out the website and see all the stuff that they have because they have traveler the soft bound they have the hard bound um, they come out with special editions every once in a while and i say the good people at code and quill because they sent this to me to try and to review so I want to gen be a good uh, good servant to them and a good um, customer and do a good review. So give this video a thumbs up. Oh, I try to be able to draw a hand properly there. Anyway, <laughs> like <laughs> and share. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you a comparison real quick, uh, size comparison. This is comparable to a Inkjoy part, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Papermate Inkjoy. So you see the length is shorter body wise. It's about the same width. There is definitely a, a more weight to it because it's a metal aluminum, um, but it's uh, really well made. Uh, great EDC pen. I'm going to show you that it can fit very easily in something like uh, this Lehit Lab um, holder. And if you don't have anything like that, it doesn't come with a clip, and that was the only complaint I probably would have about this pen. But I'd be afraid almost that a clip would scratch the paint here if it was a metal clip. I'm willing to give it a try. <laughs> if uh, they come up with one, I am definitely going to buy it. Um, 
because I think it would be a great pocket pen as well. If you put this in your pocket, I would be afraid that you'd lose it. So um, I might make a leather a leather cover for it uh, just because I think it deserves that kind of uh, a leather like protector for it. So I can just put that and put that in my pocket and then I can carry that. It would be easy enough. So there you go from the good people at Code and Quill at Mike Code and Quill hashtag. Um, thank you guys for sending this to me. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to review your products. Uh, they are amazing products, and I am very always been very pleased with Code and Quill. So go check out their website. Go check them out on social media, people. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.